What is financial wellness and how can you have it? The leaders of the Workplace Wellness Research Group, Tom Rath and Jim Harder, explain financial wellness as effectively managing your economic life. I couldn't have explained it better myself. Trust me, no one knows financial health better than them. Their concept can be explained in four key points. Keeping an eye on the expenditure, saving funds for emergencies, having required knowledge for making the right financial decisions, and plan for the future. Hey guys, welcome to Think Good, where we believe that health is our greatest wealth. Today we're going to talk about how you can achieve financial wellness. So, let's get started. The term financial wellness means financial security. It means having enough financial or monetary support so that it can provide for you during emergencies, difficult times, or if you lose a job in the future. It's also the inevitable goal of all employees. But unfortunately, most corporates financial and health benefit offerings only contain some very limited number of EAPs. This is only a tiny part of a total health benefits program, and it was mainly meant for crisis and crisis averting programs. Still, unfortunately, it's the only benefit most employees get. A corporation needs to develop a more comprehensive means of providing their employees with better financial programs to ensure that their employees have better financial stability and overall peace of mind. Their good health and mentality will inevitably lead to better productivity from their side. That's right, employees who feel they're in a financial problem tend to be less productive. According to a Journal of Occupational and Environmental Medicine report, it could cost a corporation somewhere in the ballpark of $350 per day. Imagine what would happen if half of their employees start feeling the same way. They would lose millions of dollars due to lost productivity, and all this can be avoided if they manage to provide better financial wellness to their employees. But what if your employer refuses to give that and you have no other option? In that case, you can achieve it by following seven simple tricks. But before I start sharing the tricks, please hit the like button so we can get motivated and bring you more videos like this one. Seven Tricks to Achieve Financial Wellness After a long, in-depth study, we've gathered these seven amazing tricks to achieve financial wellness. And we're sure it would help you a lot if you understand and follow them correctly. 1. A proper budget Many people around the world don't track their expenses and set some goals. If that's the case with you, this goal should include how much you need to spend on food, clothing, accessories, travel costs, maintenance costs, among other things. Once you figure this out, you'll save more to put in your savings fund. 2. Credit Having a good credit score is important, and it will help you in a situation when you want some funding to open a new business or an office setup. But if you don't have a good credit score, your banks could refuse to provide you with the loan necessary to make that purchase. If you can't set up your new business, it means you're missing out on a ton of money that could have been added to your total income. 3. Reliable Income Source Having a reliable income source is the best way to achieve all your goals. It'll also help you achieve your financial wellness much faster and easier. How much of an income source does one need to earn for this? Let's put it this way, you don't need to be a millionaire for this, but having a solid and steady flow of income is necessary. 4. Regular Savings Savings are an important part of everybody's life. You make savings by saving the extra cash that's not being spent from your income. Set a goal of savings per month, and eventually your savings fund will accumulate a lot of money, which you can then spend on medical needs or large purchases. 5. Emergency Fund an emergency fund is different from a saving fund. You can't use this fund for making trips, parties, tours, among other things. Your savings will take care of that. On the other hand, an emergency fund is necessary if you or your family members need urgent medical procedures that require a ton of money or when you lose your job. Only an emergency can justify using the emergency fund and make an emergency fund by keeping aside a small amount of money every day from your income just for an emergency fund. Over time, this fund will grow tremendously. 6. Debt Free Now that you know you take money from banks as credit doesn't mean you should unless it's absolutely necessary. These things come with stipulations such as timely paybacks and interests, and if you fail to do so, you'll be in more debt to them, which you should avoid at all costs. 7. Retirement Planning While working hard to earn more money and all this is fine at a young age, you can't do all that when you get old. That's why you must plan for your retirement sooner than later. This will ensure that you won't have anything to worry about when you get older and live your life peacefully. So this was the list to grow your financial wellness. If you have any questions, please drop them in the below comment box. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button. And for regular updates, subscribe to this channel and tap the bell icon. We'll be back with another video very soon. Till then, stay healthy, stay blessed, and keep watching Think Good.